Hey guys, Rodrigo here. Um, very quickly, I'm trying to reproduce the same uh, design I posted earlier, I think it was yesterday. So I decided to work with this one, with the puppy one. Uh, it's a very simple design. There's no problem uh, to do it on Breezy. So what I'm doing here on this part, I just take the picture of the, the reference or from the design. And I decided to cut it out the important part of the design what the most important part is that is the dog is the puppy so i separated from the reference is a low resolution reference but it's good enough for us to have the picture uh, selected on on photoshop so i decided to go to shutterstock is the image bank and i decided to find a shape very similar with the shape uh, from the reference from the f original design so i found this one and it's very similar. I opened an Illustrator, so I deleted some layers and just copy and paste over on, on Photoshop. Uh, after that, I searched for the puppy, for the picture. That is a stock picture, it's very clear. So it's not so complicated to find the same one. So I downloaded the same picture and put it on Photoshop over the same shape. I removed the background and just put inside of the shape and uh, two layers, one layer inside, another outside, just to give the same effect we are having from the original version. So after that, I saw there's a, a additional area, additional curve under on the on the right side of the dog. So I, I duplicate the same shape to give the same effect. I paint it in yellow because the yellow is the original color, and I remove some small details around the the glass just to make sure it's completely uh, without background, transparent. Right, so I save it as a PNG, and now we have our puppy ready. Um, the second step is the left side, which is the button and the text. So I selected the color of the button, which is the most important color of the left side, and then I jump into Breezy. I select the basic one, is the the first block, very easy to to visualize, to pre-visualize it actually. So I remove the cherry picture. And then I, I just uploaded the, my original, the, the puppy one, the original picture. After that, I added on Breezy and it's pretty much done. And so it's ready to go. The first picture is done. The second one is the left, second phase, right, is the left side. So we have three or actually four sections, the title, subtitle, text, and button. So first, let's go with the first uh, words, the first phrase on the top, and then is adopt pure love. And we don't have this kind of font, this specific font right now. And actually this is not a problem because you're just building up the template. So you just need a reference. So, but what, what is very important on this part, on the, the top area, the adopt pure love uh, phrase is the color. So let's just select any, any type font, any font we have already on Breezy so we can save time and, and just select any, any random font just to keep something on the top. So after selecting, I jump back to Photoshop and then I have to find that specific color. So I have to zoom in or just ping the, the selection on Photoshop and use the, the, the drop color and use the same code for the, for the title. So the second one, uh, just the color is pretty much done is, is a good color is a green color and then we go to the second phase which is the the text the original text so i just went back to the original reference and copied the whole text so to find your smart dog right so there's kind of, some kind of proportions so we need to respect the proportions from the original um version so we increase the size of the, size of the text we decrease the, the actually the distance between the lines. We select the black version. We are using overpass because it's a very similar font. So just increase a little bit the font. It's now it's looking better than the original version. Uh, then you have the text. So let me just go over the text and I just open a notepad and the notepad is enough just to type in the text. I'm typing now and making sure that we have the same words, the same copy, uh, and bring back to Breezy. So just a few adjustments. Uh, I'm using the same overpass, 
So just to keep the same uh, pattern, the same visual identity with the text as well, right? So my text is done. Now let's go to the button. Let's delete this form. Let's keep the spacers and let's bring the button. So the button, the secret of the button is, is, is very easy. Just keep the same shape. Uh, I'm putting some, you know, rounded corners and I respect the same color. I just use the, the dropper just to pick up the color and select the same code. And then I'm taking and removing the border. We don't need the border right now, uh, then, or even a stroke and just changing the text inside to get started. Uh, another thing I'm doing is increasing the size of the text and bringing the arrow, um, the exactly arrow they're using on the first reference. So the first refer reference is being respected for the entire time. So just take a look on the reference as well. Let's go back to our design. And another thing we have to do is just keep looking back and forward. So make sure you have your vision, your perspective from what you're doing on your design and checking the reference as well and seeing the proportion, seeing the photo, see if there's anything that you can add. So now let's go to the background. So we have a, a very uh, unusual background because there are just a few elements. I don't know if this is, was made on purpose, but we're going to find something similar like some bones, some paws, and both can be used uh, on the background. So you can have some kind of a similar design. I just downloaded from Shutterstock again, and I make sure I made sure to pick the the darkest color from the the pattern from the design. So this is the darkest spot. I'm gonna use as my reference, and then let me open on uh, Illustrator as well and take the Shutterstock picture or the the vector file from Shutterstock. One of the things that all the vector files pretty much they have a white background. I just double click it and deleted the white background from. The design so it's completely transparent and now let's select everything and just paste the color we just copy from photoshop i made sure that is everything okay i click uh i hit okay and then we have a pattern with the right color i like the color is light it's not going to be something that is going to you know uh, claim too much attention on the background uh, make the, the the hero hard to to understand to read the words etc so i'm just saving as a png and i'm just putting down the resolution to 72 dpi make sure it's a the size is low uh, for a fast loading on the page so i'm just uploading down the the background so one thing i noticed that the file the whole size of the file was 5000 pixels so this is this is too much so let me go back to photoshop and open the same file the same png and make a little bit smaller i'm kind of i'm usually used to ten, uh, a thousand thousand two hundred is a good size for a pattern background so another thing that i noticed is uh, i'm saving right now just to replace the one we did before um, and trying to bring it back to to the to the project so i'm deleting that one and adding the new background, just changing the name because you know WordPress sometimes mess up with the names. Just renaming and uploading again and putting on the back. Nice. I have the background right now. It's very strong. Let me find the best position uh, with animation, without animation. And after that, let me just move up and down to make sure is the correct uh, the, the angle is correct. All right, looks fine. So let me add a white color over the background and take down the intensity of the color so it looks okay it's not looking perfect but it looks okay uh, i think the the elements are too much there's too many elements uh, in our original version you can see that we have just a few elements but you, that is this is from the original designer uh, you have the freedom to redesign to bring more ideas uh, on, uh, on the table so it's important to to have the freedom to, to play with that. So I decided to delete some elements and re repositioning uh, another elements, most to the right, to the left, up and down, and make sure that all the elements are very clear uh, on, on some specific position that are being cutted uh, as a pattern type of design. So I just save it as a background. I rename it the same file. I don't, I don't like to start to duplicate a lot of different files, just renaming making sure you're using the same one file for every purpose 
and then go back to the WordPress, deleting the previous one and uploading the updated one. So this is the background. This is the final version and looks very similar. It looks not, look, it's not looking like perfect, not the same design, not the same shape, but looks a little bit more uh, similar to the original one. Now we have the two versions. We have the, actually the two sides, the right, the left and the background. So it looks similar. So now we, let's, we need to create the, the menu, the top menu. So I decided for this design, for this specific design, just for this video, I decided to create a transparent menu using uh, the same block I'm creating the design. So I just bring a line and in this line, I just push a little bit up to make sure it's looking like a menu, but you can do creating a new block specific for the menu. Um, or you can use uh, Bloxy, for example, with the headers and try to play with that as well and customize with the Bloxy theme. But for now, for this specific example, I just creating the menu over the same block. Okay, so I spent some, a couple minutes just recreating the logo because I don't have anything related, anything similar. So I created a new logo just to, you know, try to copy the same type of design they have for their logo. I'm, copy and paste the original uh, version over my new design to make sure we have the same proportions and the same type of font. I save it and add it on the template. After that, I just created a section. I like the second line, second column, the same line and to create uh, to create the menu. So I tried to doing uh, the menu using just the words. Um, the words kind of work, but it was not exactly what I'm looking for. So I created a new menu exactly with the same items uh, we have from the original version uh, on the menu area on WordPress. And then I just install inside of the, the template. Nice, I have the menu now, just fixing the size uh, of the, the words, the size of the items, and making sure they are all aligned. And then the third column, we have the icons, the search and login, okay? I'm not adding any functionality to this design, I'm just creating the design itself. Uh, to copy and paste or, or at least uh, duplicate or, or recreate the same type of design we had on that template. So this is a very friendly, simple, easy to create design on Breezy. Uh, we spent at least, I don't know, 35, 39 minutes, I guess, to create this, this hero header. Um, but just because I would like to go very specific over each item, but you can probably spend, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes to create the same design uh, without having to, you know, spend too much time thinking about the original version. So this is our main design. So I, I created something, I tried to create, bring my design over the reference. So I took a screenshot of my uh, smallest screen, the smallest resolution I have. I took this, the, the, the screenshot and I put over uh, Photoshop. So I have now my design over the version, the version, the original version. And I noticed that we had some, you know, it's not proportionally correct. It's not proportionally exactly, uh, you know, exactly the same. It's not the same design. It's not perfect. So I'm trying to bring a little bit more time on the project and spending more time on the project, trying to bring more proportions. Uh, then I found this difference between the sizes. So I went back to Breezy and just selected all the right and the puppy to bring the puppy to a very similar size of the original version and trying to adjust the left size, the text, uh, to give you more space, expanding a little bit more inside of the box. Okay, so now this is the final version, is the final result. And I really believe that is very similar. Uh, I just spent, you know, 39, 40 minutes over this project. Not a lot of time to create a, a, a hero. It's, it's very specific. And I know uh, I'm missing the background behind of the dog, of the puppy, because you have some kind of the same background uh, being duplicated over uh, the yellow color. So, which is, which is okay. It, it's, it's something just for now, just for you to have the idea how the process works and how it's important for you to keep your reference always connected. Now, if you're creating this for, a, I don't know, for a, a, a pet shop, for a restaurant, for a clinic, 
the process is pretty much the same. You can bring your identity, you can download pictures, then create a perfect design, a perfect uh, clean and sharpie hero uh, for your project. I really believe uh, Breezy is helping everyone, every one of us, you and me and everybody to create good designs. Hope you liked this video and see you next time. I hope you have a great week and a great Thanksgiving.